Hi, Makeup by Mexi here. Good morning, YouTube. And I'm here to do a uh, quick day look today. Um, I actually have a doctor's appointment today, um, so I'm just going to do a quick look for today. And, of course, I've started out, and all I've done is prime my face with a Nivea Post Shaving Balm. So I went ahead and I used that product, and then I'm going to get on with the rest of the day. And But before I go, I just wanted to share a little video of what I'm going to do. So I will go ahead and finish up my face and enjoy this quick look for today and hope you like it. I'm going to call this a day look for a regular wear, casual wear look. So hope you like what you have to see and thanks for stopping by. Be right back with you. So I'm going to go ahead and blend in my uh, MAC N20, NW20. And I'm just going to blend it in with a basic uh, blush, uh, an old blush brush that I use, but it actually has a, st a stiff type uh, brush, so I'm going to use that instead. For me, it goes on better, and I'll just go ahead and apply it with this. kind of move that all around. I notice everybody has their own routine on how to put their foundation on, which I find interesting, so that's cool. Why not? So, what a difference. And then I just go ahead and make sure that's sitting right. There's no blotches and stuff. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, work on the next step, which will be... Um, i actually going to probably use a little bronzer today and some concealer and... Um, I pulled out some products here that I'm going to use out of this glass cup. These are my items for the day. And I'm going to start doing that. Probably grab items that I'm going to use for the day. And then I'll just place them into a local container that I have here. And it'll be easier for me to reach for. I'm actually going to use my lip sugar instead of lipstick today. Kind of give the day off. And use some of this Estee Lauder eyeshadow in... 2 one eyeshadow in 25 Cameo. I'll use this and then I will also be using this Milani Gel shadow and this color is in Bella Ivory. And this looks really nice on the bottom lid color, base color. I like that. So stick around and I'll be back when I'm all completed. And I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Um, This is my finished look for the day. I just did a simple uh, going out day look. The lighting really is horrible right now, but this is the day look. And I know I get a lot of um, requests for me to do a minimal look sometimes. I like the dramatic makeup, but a lot of people enjoy me doing just simple, simple look. And so, um, I did it for them and you and whoever else enjoys looking at that. So I like to switch it up from time to time. But anyway, I'll just finish uh, showing you the products that I use. So I went ahead and in my little cup that I showed you previously, I, uh, went ahead and I did the, um, I already went over the foundation with you and I stopped at that point. So then second, Neely, I went in and I got... I did my brows with the Jordana pencil with the brush because someone on the Makeup Alley mentioned that I should use a brush to brush in the brow better because the last video I had it a little bit too dark and it didn't look blended in smoothly. So this helped a lot. So I used this. Um, and then I used my brushes for blending today for shadow. I like my Echo Tools brushes, and then my secondary brushes are just a nice set that I got off of Amazon. Um, I can't remember the brand name, but 
Um, they worked really good. And they come in a nice little array of uh, <clears throat> sizes and miscellaneous stuff. So then after that, I went in and I did my um, a light uh, contouring with the MAC Cheeky Bronze. And I did that on the um, on the cheek here. And then I applied this blush today. I wanted to use this product. I like this product. Um, it's a nice tint. It's by the Body Shop. And I can't get the color. It's just the lips and cheek stain. And I used this one here. It looks super dark, but when you put it on and blend it out, it's got this light uh, pinky tone to it. So it's not too bad. Then after that, I went in and I put in the uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion all over the lids. And I did the first color of the Milani. I patted that on with fingertip. And then I did my whole lid and transitional color in Estee Lauder. And then I actually went in the crease a little bit out of the Jessie Girls palette, which is, this is another palette, guys, that is really, really nice. And I used the color, um, this color here. It's a matte color. And you can see I did the, I always like to just do the outer B. Blend it up a little bit and bring it in. So that's that. And that's a nice palette. Um, they sell this at Rite Aid. Um, I don't know if they have their own website. You could kind of check that out. And I'm pretty sure they do. And then I went in with the um, Benefits Turn Up the Watts for highlighting today. I just add a little bit on the nose, a little here, under here, a little bit above each brow. And so I did that. Then I went and I did my lips with the Lancome uh, lipstick. And the color is in Pink Berry. I did that. And over that I used the Lip Sugar Treatment in Fresh. That's, that's the one. I used that in Fresh. And that's what I put on my lips. So that's a very light color for the day. Um, and mascara. I did two coats of mascara. And I used the Wet n Wild Max Volume. Pretty good. It's not very thick, so you do have to coat it a couple of times. But the brush is pretty good, so I like how it brings up the um, lashes and keeps them separated so that that works good for me um and that's the overall look i hope that you liked it it was a quick day today um and uh, hopefully you can see the shadows i'm trying to get the better light there i kind of hold it there and thank you for watching Take care now. Bye-bye. What do you...